Hello, point preppers. Start in your socks or in your bare feet and give your feet a little roll around. Make sure that everything's nice and warm, knees and hips included. I don't know if you're doing this uh, as an isolated activity or whether you're doing this at the end of a previous class. So uh, regardless, just take a few minutes to feel your ligaments and your muscles moving and just get your body back in line with itself. I talked a couple weeks ago about the three dots that go on the sole of the foot. One, two, three. One, two, three. So make sure that when you're standing that you have your weight evenly distributed on those three dots. And facing your bar of choice, feet parallel. Take a rise and roll your weight up onto the two front dots. And then just ease the back dot down so it barely touches the floor. Up again, keep your muscles engaged. Ease down, barely touch the floor. And up, slide a sheet of paper under your heels, feeling. My heels aren't actually touching the floor with any weight. It's just an easy way to engage everything. Up, parallel, roll, up. Up, roll over your toes, up. Good, it's a good way to feel your metatarsals spread. And make sure your weight's evenly distributed through the front of your foot. And that's good practice for thinking about how your muscles work to support you once you're in your point shoes. Take it with turnout, rise up, plie over the top, and down. Up, plie over the top, and down. Keep your backside tucked under, spine nice and long, one more. Good. And back to parallel, tondu forward, suck it in. Tondu forward, suck it in. Tondu forward, suck it in. Work your foot along the floor so that your toes are the thing pulling your foot up. Toes. Don't think of your leg pushing forward. Think of your foot doing all the work and help strengthen your arches. With turn out to the side, same feeling. I don't have great arches, so don't look at my feet for a model of how high your foot should be. Think of the idea of pushing your toes along the floor and then using your toes to pop the point to its full extent. Two more. Good. Have a little shake. And grab your shoes. My socks have to come off. I like bare feet. And then point shoes. But you do whatever works for you. Oh, stiff hips. So just when it's, I don't know, if you're in a heated environment, it's easy to feel warm even though your muscles are cold. So make sure that you put a little work into warming up your muscles because a common trap when you're cozy at home is to just, ah, oh, I'm nice and warm, this is fine. You start doing things and then you feel a twang and that's a bit unpleasant. So it's always worth taking a few extra minutes to make sure you've got blood flowing through all those muscles that you're going to be challenging. Ribbons go around your ankles I won't show you mine because I don't have ribbons on my shoes. But make sure that they're supporting your ankles. I usually did my ribbons up with a flexed foot so that when I was standing, they wouldn't cut into my Achilles. Okay, have a little jog on the squat. Good, find your chops with your toes pointing down. And over, up, over, up, over. Up, over. Stay balanced on top of two feet for a second. Double speed. A one, two, three, four, five, six. Slower back down. Up, drop. Up, drop. Up, drop. Ankles up. Think of pulling your ankles into a straight line. Two more. Good. So that's with feet parallel. Now take that to a turned out idea. I'll turn away from you. So same idea of up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. This gets you working nicely to the top of the shoe. And because we're rolling up through the foot, you can get that nice straight line from knee to toe. As you pull up, try and hold that posture. Get it on the other side. Relax. Oh, you can push over a little bit and come down, then go up the other way. Left, right, right, left, left, 
right, right, left. Two more. Good. And give your feet a little shake, a little roll through the hips. Make sure your flexors are nice and open. And let's go feet parallel. Bend and spring up onto the top of your toes. So my legs are together. Roll down. Bend, spring, roll down. Bend, spring, roll down. One more. Spring, roll down. Feet to first position. Face your bar. Keep your two hands on. Same feeling. Bend, spring, roll down. Bend, spring, roll down. Bend, spring, roll down. Bend, spring, roll down. Take a shallow second position. A little bit more challenging because your feet are further apart. Okay? As you bend, make sure that your back stays forward. So don't let it hang out the back. Ready? And bend, spring, roll down. Bend, spring, keep your weight up as you roll. Bend, spring, roll down. Again, spring, roll down. Okay, into a fifth position. Same feeling, ready and bend, suck, step, step. Bend, suck, step, step. Bend, suck, step, step. Bend, suck, step, step. Swap your feet over. Right foot behind, same feeling. Bend, suck, step, step. Bend, suck, step, step. Bend, suck, step, step. Bend, suck, step, step. So we've got the feeling of pulling up with our feet in place and pulling up and bringing our feet underneath us. When we're out here, this is feet staying in place. When we're bringing our feet up, this position, Front foot moves in a little bit, back foot moves in a little bit. Everyone has to compromise and come under your center of balance. Let's try starting in fifth position. And we'll just go out, change, out, change, out, change, releve. Out, change, out, change, out, change, releve. So you have the feeling of push your feet out, bring them in. Push out, bring them in, push out. Bring them in, suck it up. <sighs> Don't relax. Just put heels down. And out, change, out, change, out, change. Suck it up. Ease your heels back down, but don't relax. Whatever you do. Okay. Ready? And out, in, out, in, out, in. Snatch. Out, 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 snatch. Again. Out. Out, out, snatch, out, 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 snatch. Feeling good? Awesome. So remember that feeling of straight line when you, as soon as you suck up into fifth position, so that's technically a little bit baggy, and as soon as you do that, your ankles start to roll. So everything switched on. Let's do a little bit of time to do a pushover. We'll just relax again. Not too difficult. Starting feet parallel. Push forwards, think of your toes, pull up, press forwards, and in. Pull forward, use your toes, up, press over, and in. Again, forwards and up. Parallel knees forwards, in, forwards and up, parallel, and in. First position. Forwards with turn out, over, suck it in. Forwards with turn out, over, suck it in. Forwards with turn out, over, suck it in. Forwards with turn out, over to the side next. Use your arches. You might feel them cramp. Tells you that you're working. Forwards. Oh, sideways, sorry. Over and in. Side. Over and in. Sneaky habit. Not a bad idea to turn your head the way your foot's pointing. It's one of those things that helps you a lot with balance and staying centered. Because later, if you're going to do like a pose going somewhere, 
You need that idea of I'm going. So you need your head and your chin pointing somewhere in direction. If you always work like this, you don't really have a sense of going and moving and changing your center of balance. And when I do this, my center of balance does shift. It moves. Oh yeah, I brought it back. So it's really nice to work that in your neck and your head as well. Over, look, over, in. Over, look, over, in. It connects everything. Then your head's connected to your feet. They're not working in isolation. Let's do two feet under releve. If you're feeling a bit unsteady still, then just go releve, 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 and change. Releve, 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 changement. Sorry, jump and change. If you're feeling really, oh yeah, this is great, I'm so confident, then we'll try releve, retire, retire, put it behind. Releve, retire, 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 put it behind. Okay, so no shenanigans, I'm keeping it pretty simple. The retire is always going to land in front, so your weight's forwards. That's the easiest way to start. Um, and it's up to you whether you do the two foot option. You can go releve, 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 change. Releve, 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 change. Or you can choose releve, retire, retire, put it behind. Releve, retire, retire, put it behind. Up to you, whatever you prefer. Well, one, two, three, and releve, up, up, next foot. Releve, up, up, next foot. Releve, up, up. Releve, up, up, next foot. I forgot what I was doing in my third step. That's ridiculous. Have a check. All right, I'm going to do it one more time. If you did the easy option, you might like to try the hard option. If you did the hard option, focus on getting your retire up to the knee every time. Okay, keep that connection. It's easier to balance. Six, seven, up. Up, up, change feet. Change feet. Hop, hop. Change feet. Hop, hop. Change feet. Very nice. If you're feeling gay, take that retiro one more time and just see how long you can hold it up there for. If you feel really excited about it, you can even take your hands off your bar. Ready? Set. Uh, up. Find where your weight is. Are you leaning forwards? Are you leaning backwards? Is your backside under? I feel like you could take your balance. <laughs> Good. And go with the other side. It's just about tolerance and ankle strength and staying pulled up. Ready? Po. Hook. If you feel like you can take one hand off, the other hand off, two hands off. Oh, nice job. So work on your balance. You don't have to have your point shoes on to work on your balance. And you do that in bed for any old time of the day. But make sure that you do a little bit of warming up before you start. And you know you can always do a bit of stretching afterwards. Get those splits down. Yeah. So, see you soon at the hole. Don't forget to leave me some feedback. Let me know how you're going, how your ankles are feeling, how your arches are feeling, and what you're ready for next.